In 2010, the National Milk Producers Federation introduced the U.S. dairy industry to Foundation for the Future, a proposed package of comprehensive federal dairy policy reform programs. Foundation for the Future is a shift away from traditional dairy policy toward a more progressive approach that protects equity by ensuring margins and stabilizing markets to ensure a more prosperous future. Within National Milk, we wanted to look at a dairy policy package that changed from where we was at with price supports and other elements of, of old policies and change that to something that looks forward, looks into the future, looks at what we need to be an international player and be profitable for dairy farmers. After discussing Foundation for the Future with more than 1,300 dairy producers during a nationwide grassroots tour, NMPF modified its program to achieve a greater level of unanimity and support from the industry. In September 2011, the Dairy Security Act of 2011 was introduced in the House of Representatives. It reflects the revisions of Foundation for the Future that resulted from the summer grassroots tour. In addition to providing dairy farmers with a better safety net compared to current dairy programs, the Dairy Security Act meets a key requirement for any future legislation. It generates a budget savings of 20 percent, or $131 million over the next 10 years. It also offers farmers a clear choice of whether they want the protection of a government safety net. The Dairy Producer Margin Protection Program will be a voluntary program. However, if a producer chooses the margin protection it provides, then he or she participates in the Dairy Market Stabilization Program as well. These programs will replace the current Dairy Export Incentive, Price Support, and MILC programs, which are outmoded and fail to provide real equity protection, according to Bill Bruins of Wisconsin. Under the current scenario, where we have the Price Support Program uh, at 990 a hundredweight, uh, basically dollars below the cost of production. It, is, it has become a totally useless tool or safety net, if you will, for the dairy industry. MILC is a very expensive program for the government to maintain and it's established at levels that no longer are profitable either. The Dairy Producer Margin Protection Program provides a basic level of protection to all dairy producers who choose to be protected on 80% of their milk production history. If margins in a consecutive two-month period average between zero and four dollars per hundredweight, the government would make up that shortfall by paying farmers for that loss. Ken Nobis of Michigan helped create the margin program. We wanted to have, when we started this out, a base program. That's what our first thought was. But then you start thinking about it, and there are producers that really, that's all they want. So we needed something that we thought was very basic, very simple. We also recognize that there's producers that recognize that base program isn't enough, and they want some more coverage. So then we came along with the idea that we'd add coverage above the base program that we're calling the supplemental program. The cost of the supplemental program will be shared by participating farmers and the government. By giving farmers the opportunity to ensure up to 90 percent of their milk production history at a variety of levels of margin protection, they'll be establishing even better safeguards for their equity. The Dairy Security Act also allows producers the option to protect their milk production growth under the supplemental program. Doug Nuttleman, a dairy producer from Nebraska, says that farm lenders are taking an active interest in margin protection. I think bankers and lending companies understand margin now just as well as what they do price. When I put my cash flows together, he's more interested in my bottom line than what I get for my milk. I think you're seeing a transition now to where, you know, even if somebody says to me, you know, I got $20 for my milk, but then if you ask him, but it cost me $18 or $19 to produce it, did you really come out ahead focusing on price? Another line of defense against market extremes that create volatility is the Dairy Market Stabilization Program, which applies to those producers who choose the margin insurance protection. Neil Ray, a seventh-generation dairy farmer from New York, who worked on the Market Stabilization Subcommittee, explains the purpose of this program is to help balance supply with demand. So it doesn't make any difference whether you're producing widgets or golf carts if your inventories are too high that you'll realize that you can't sell everything, so you really need to slow down the production until you can bring them in, into line with the market. 
Jeff Vanden Heuvel, a dairy farmer from Chino, California, and vice chairman of the Milk Producers Council, believes it's important for farmers to have tools that effectively adjust the milk supply as necessary, but don't violate other principles. And I think National Milk has uh, found in their market management program something that triggers in strongly but triggers out again once supply and demand return into balance. Um, and, by, and because it triggers in and triggers out, uh, it doesn't create that capital uh, value in the base and, um, and it doesn't stop uh, new entry from coming in. It pushes that new entry into periods of time when there is a demand for new milk. As outlined in the Dairy Security Act, the Dairy Market Stabilization Program only applies to producers who choose to be protected by the Dairy Producer Margin Protection Program. It's no longer a mandatory program for all dairy producers. Not only does this give all producers a choice, it also ensures that 100% of the monies collected, if the program is activated, will be used to purchase dairy products for donation to food assistance programs. With the ability to, to buy up additional insurance and that in combine, combination with the market management program, because they really work together, um, I think it will provide a safety net that will enable us to, to uh, have a long-term future for the producer sector of this industry. In recent years, dairy markets have expanded to global levels, challenging the federal milk marketing order system to keep pace with the evolving marketplace. Dave Furman, president of Foremost Farms, a Wisconsin-based cooperative, has experienced the challenges of managing a farmer-owned company during a struggling dairy economy. Well, the challenge with running a business in the dairy sector the last couple of years has been the same problems that dairy farmers have. The, vol the price volatility and the, and the market volatility has created havoc within the organization as well as at the farm level. One of the most challenging aspects of the current federal milk marketing order system is the end product pricing formula, which takes a one-size-fits-all approach by establishing milk prices based on certain products that trade at the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. It also features a manufacturing allowance that can create winners and losers between producers and processors. Most dairy farmers, cooperatives, and processors are of the belief that we're, it, it's in our best interest to move away from the end product pricing formulas. First of all, to eliminate that whole controversy over the make allowances and try to end some of those unintended consequences that both industry, processors, and dairy farmers have, have dealt with. The Dairy Security Act mandates that USDA eliminate the use of end product price formulas for setting prices for Class Three milk, milk used to produce cheese, and instead use a competitive price for setting Class Three prices. The dairy policy reforms first proposed in Foundation for the Future and now contained in the Dairy Security Act require a new way of thinking about milk prices and the impact of margin on individual dairy operations. It will also need a concerted effort to pass Congress, working with other farm groups, such as the American Farm Bureau, Holstein Association USA, and Milk Producers Council, who also see the value in backing a new approach to dairy policy. The need to reform dairy policy has taken on added urgency because of congressional efforts to cut farm program spending. That process is likely to reduce or even eliminate funding for the current dairy safety net. I absolutely think that the proposals in the Foundation for the Future plan will be good for the dairy industry as a whole. In the past, we've been working at changing policy that would be good for one part of the country, bad for another part of the country. This Foundation for the Future plan, I think, will lift the entire dairy industry. You know, I think when people understand it, all the way along the line, from producer to consumer, they're going to recognize value in Foundation for the Future. It's if we can, and I think we can, take some of the volatility out of the dairy prices, everybody along that chain is going to appreciate Foundation for the Future. The policies that we want to go forward, we want to treat all dairy farmers this equally. And I think the programs that we're working on now are more, you know, treating every dairy farmer equally. And I think that's important. I believe that each generation has an opportunity to make some significant policy changes that, 
that update uh, some of these policies and allow businesses and industries and dairy farmers to enhance their profitability. And I really believe that this is one of those times in history where we have a chance to make significant difference. We can't just look at one element and say this one element needs to change. We need complete reform of dairy policy, and that's where the producers' mindset are right now. The choice is clear. Producers must support the Dairy Security Act of 2011 in order to protect their equity, address market imbalances, and support a pricing system that minimizes market risk. The National Milk Producers Federation and other organizations are doing everything in their power to help pass the Dairy Security Act. But the most effective lobbyists are producers themselves. Producers are urged to contact their Congress member and ask them to support the Dairy Security Act. Visit nmpf.org and click on the Dairy Great icon to find your local Congress member. Producers have a choice. The future of their dairy operation is in their hands.